Today's video is on jelly plate image transfers. I'm going to be using Amsterdam Standard Series today because I found this works much better for the image transfer than the Golden Fluid Acrylic that I use almost exclusively the rest of the time for my jelly printing. The image transfer can be tricky, so I'm going to share with you what I found that works so far and I'm going to be using magazine images today and you can also use images from a laser printer. I have not found success so far in using images from an inkjet printer. All right, so let's get started. Uh, it's 64 degrees here right now with 26% humidity. And so I'm gonna do, um, again, I'm gonna try with the um, image transfer. I wanna put out a really thin coat of um, Amsterdam. This is lamp black. Uh, I do wanna try the, um, the oxide black as well, but try and lamp black right now. And it needs to be really thin. Um, I think that's probably too much. So I'm gonna just spray her off a little bit. And then get your magazine um, photo and press it down where you want it. Oh, geez, that's a nice one too. But really, really light, um, not heavy pressure. Okay, there she is. That um, paint might be a little thick for this. Um, if you have scotch tape, you can clean that up. I mean, maybe you like it, but if you don't, you can always pick it up or pick up part of it. Maybe off of her face a little bit. Looks like I didn't press by her ear. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna give her a big ear. Okay, and then let's add some um, interest out here with some glass. Do I want this? And some up here. Oops. This is a stencil I've cut down. Um, Let's see, maybe some Duplo. I do love the Duplo. Oh, that's so great. Gosh, just love that. <clears throat> is that enough? Oh, let's add our little jewel. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, up here. And I guess I need another one. Okay. All right, and uh, let that dry. You've seen how long I've worked here. I might just um, let it dry for another minute. 
Okay, that was about a minute. So now we'll go back in with um, some lighter colors to pick this up. Let's see. I'm gonna be really um, tentative about the application of paint because again, when it's too thick, um, it, I don't know, it just isn't what, what I wanna see. And again, this is the Amsterdam and it's a heavier body. It's not the fluid acrylic that you're used to seeing me use. So let's spray this out. This is um, 32 pound copy paper. Put it down here and um, use the Baron so I'm sure I've got really good pressure and coverage on that. And then I'm gonna let it sit again for, I'm gonna let it sit for two minutes this time. And I'll turn the camera back on and we'll pull it up and see what we got. I feel like it's ready. We'll see. Um, certainly the glass worked really well. And um, boy, it's looking pretty good. She's got a triangular ear, which could have been avoided. <laughs> All right. Well, there it is. Okay, so it seems like the black and white work a lot better, but I'm gonna try one in the color. And this time I'm gonna use a little bit of less paint because I think that was maybe too much that first time. And we'll brayer this out. <clears throat> it needs to be really pretty thin to get this effect. I've tried so many times and again, like you cannot use the fluid um, acrylics, or I can't, I don't know how to do it. Maybe somebody else does, but I don't. And then the, um, let's see, where do I want her? Put her over here. Um, Yeah, so, I mean, it's there, it's not bad. What else do I want around that this time? I think I want something here. Oh, that's really picking up more uh, nicely this time now. We'll do one here. Kind of going off there, all right. <clears throat> Let's mix this glass in with the other stencil. And the Duplo. I kind of want to use my seed pods, but I don't know where. Nope. All right, we'll let that go for now. And we'll just add this in since it's so fun and it's in the other one. Oh, 
okay? Um, I think I want to take off that little ridge of hair there. All right, let's let this sit for a minute. Okay, and I decided I wanted to break this up too. I went and got my tape, so let's just um, break that up. And then we'll put on our, our color layer. And I'm gonna use this Naples green around her face, kind of, because the contrast is greater. And we'll add in a little orange, a little lime green, or rather it's uh, olive green light, which I would not have described as olive green light. And I just love this bright aqua, so. We'll add a little bit of this too. Spray this out. I'm gonna switch sprayers for my orange. That green is a little bit, uh, Maybe too thick, we'll find out. Okay, turning the camera off again for about two minutes. After all, I'll put the paper on. Oh dear, that was not good. All right, 32 pound copy paper again. Let's use the Baron and let it sit for a couple minutes. Okay, I think it's ready. So hard for me to wait because I'm not used to it, but it's worth it, right? Uh, let's just see if we got it. Again, the glass is working really beautifully. Yeah, she's in there. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I like that I uh, interrupted the, um, that line there. Okay. Um, yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to go ahead and tint that corner though a little bit of um, blue because that's pulling my eye up into the corner where I don't want you to look. So let's just uh, pop in and do that right now. For this, I'll use the fluid acrylic manganese blue because it's really uh, transparent. Ooh, my fingerprint's in there. Let's put a little bit on here and get a little bit on the um, Catalyst wedge and just kind of calm that down. And then we need it a couple other places so that it's not so noticeable up there. Okay. Yay. Okay, well, that was fun. I'll see you next time.